hello everyone you all are welcome to my youtube channel once again today's video is all about this shift dress with this stylish neckline if this is something you're interested in learning please keep watching let's get to it okay guys this is the material i'm going to be working with okay guys this is it i'm going to be cutting out the front and the back together Yes, this is the piece for the front. This one is for the back piece. I've given my zipper allowance, my one inch for zipper allowance. Yes, so this is going to serve as our shoulder line. So, so guys, the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16. 16 divided by two is eight. So you measure your eight starting from this front piece. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. So measure out our 8. So from this shoulder line to the armhole measurement is 9. Then from the shoulder measurement to half length, the half length is 17. Then from the half length to our hip depth is nine is nine then from the shoulder to the length of the gown the, the the length of the gown i'm working with is 37 one inch uh folding allowance that making it 38 Uh, armhole measurements we're going on the armhole we're going to measure the bust measurement the shoulder you're dividing by two that's 16 divided by two you don't divide by four you divide by two so the bust measurement divided by four plus one inch for ease and one inch in allowance making it two two inches so on the half length we're going to measure the waist measurement the waist measurement we're working with is 44. 44 divided by 4 is 11. Then you add your 1 inch for ease and 1 inch for sewing allowance. Then on the hip depth, you're going to measure your hip measurement. The hip measurement I'm working with is 51. 51 divided by 4 is 12.75. So you put it here add one inch for sewing allowance and one inch for ease so the thing you got here on the hip part I'm going to take it down to the length of the of the gown sorry that is it so from your from the shoulder down to the armhole measurement you're going to draw a line down to the armhole so for your armhole curve uh, on the shoulder line you're going to come down you're going to come down with one inch for soda slope so from that one inch for soda slope you divide it from here from here to this line you divide it into two you divide it in half whatever it gives you you mark it here so from that point you mark you come out by half inch this is for your armhole curve so then from here from this one inch that we came down for the shoulder slope you mark it out to meet the half inch you came out with then go in maybe from here to here from this line here up you just come up with maybe one inch yes then it meets this line to this line to this uh, sewing allowance that you marked out here so the neckline we're working with the neck depth sorry the neck width we're working with is three inches then the neck depth is 
four inches for the front you know we're cutting the back and the uh, front together the back and the front neck width is the same measurement that we're using three for the front and the back then for the neck depth the front we're using four we're making use of four then for the back we're making use of one one inch for the back then four for the front so then we connect I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm doing. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Then you take you curve from this your neck width down to the depth. This is for the front for the back. So then for the front, you also curve it out from here. From here, you make a curve to go and meet the The neck width so this is it then you sketch from here from this neck width to go and meet meet the one inch uh, shoulder shoulder slope you draw a line from this neck width to meet the one inch shoulder slope after that you connect the lines from the boss to the waist from the waist to the hip then from the hip to the you meet the hip line so from the hip line to the hem line so then we cut out So guys for the front armhole you divide it into two your armhole you divide it into two then the middle you come in with half inch on that half inch you now give it a curve that's how you're going to cut out the front piece yes the front piece is going to go deep a bit bits uh, more than the back armhole yes this is it so this we're going to open up the zipper allowance notch here the one the, from the one inch that you measured out so that you know where you're going to fix your zip so you give it a notch here so this is it you come down by three and a half inches for the opening for the front opening you also the front opening on the clothes right so cut it open you just cut it open from the middle So guys this is it now let us cut out the design that is going to be on the front of the clothes first off we're going to trace it out here let us remove the back we're done with the back so let us focus on the front piece so guys coming from the shoulder from the armhole we just come in by maybe half inch Depending on how you want it to be, you can come in by one inch, two inch, three inch, depending on how you want your own design to look like. But for me, I'm going to come in by half inch. Then I will trace out my design. So guys, let us cut out. Then you cut up this opening too. You cut out this opening too. So guys, that is it for the front. But this, we're going to cut out a lining for this. We're going to line this. We're going to line this one. Then after that, we're going to cut out facing for the material. We're going to cut out the facing for this 
Masuri. So guys, let's So we're going to cut out the facing for the front and the back neckline. For the pocket, you're going to measure, you're going to, from this, your half length measurement, you're going to come down with one inch, you come down by one inch for your pocket, this is where your pocket is going to start from. Then from this one inch that you came down with, you now go down with seven inches down to this place. So this is where your pocket is going to start from, from here to here. So you make a notch so that you know where you're going to place your pocket when you're sewing it in. I'm notching together with the back. So you also make a notch here. So this is it for where the pocket is going to be. So guys, now we're going to cut out the pockets. Hey guys, this is the pieces from the clothes. I'm actually managing the material because um, I'm managing the fabric because I'm still going to cut out the sleeve of the clothes. So guys, this is what I'm going to use to cut out my pockets. To cut out your pocket, you just place your hand like this. Then you sketch it out. First off, you measure seven from here to here. Then you might just add half inch. For sewing, everything will be seven and a half from here to here, seven and a half. Then to cut your pocket, you place your hand this way, this way, then you sketch it out. So guys, this is it for the pocket. Lastly, we're going to cut out the sleeve of the clothes. So let's take here as our starting line. This is a short sleeve. This sleeve I'm cutting out is a short sleeve. So from here, we measure out four inches. We measure out four inches. Then from this same line, we measure out four and a half inches for the height of the sleeve cap. You can use five, you can use four and a half, but me, I just decided to use four and a half for the sleeve cap, for the height of the sleeve cap. Then the you now measure out the length of the sleeve. The length of the sleeve we're working with is eight inches. Then I'll add nine, one inch for folding, making it nine. So this is it. So this is the, uh, the the starting point of the sleeve measurement. This is the bicep line and this is the length of the sleeve. So guys, starting from this uh, four inches that I measured here, I'll take my tape from there down to the bicep line. The measurement I got, I'll be dividing it into two equal halves this way. Then I'll mark it out. So from here, I'm from this four, from this way, I'm going to make a curve like this. From this starting line, from this center of um, center of the fabric, I'll make a curve this way to meet this line here, this way, then down to the biceps measurements. Are you guys seeing how my curve is going? It's not going straight, it's not curvy, it's just, it's not a slant. It's just going this direction down to the 
measurement then from there i will now draw a line to mix the length leaf then we'll make a notch here so this is it for the sleeve so let's go to the sewing machine okay guys then we're going to join the fabric we're using to design the clothes with the lining you're going to make sure the front part of the fabric is facing the front part of the lining then you join together guys i'm done stitching and i've also pressed it with my iron so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to hold it down on my front piece with a hemming gum then after holding it down with the hemming gum i'll be taking it back to my sewing machine to stitch on it so that it will hold very firm okay guys i'm done top stitching on the um material so the next thing i'm going to do now is to turn it over with the facing yeah so i'm done turning it over then i'm notching it so that it will be it will be easy for me to turn over so now i'm turning everything out so guys after turning it out i gave it a good press then after that i joined the sleeves after joining the sleeves the next thing i did was to attach the pocket after attaching the pocket of the clothes then i shaped the both side after shaping the both side of the clothes and after i was done with that i attached the sleeve so guys after i was done look at what it looks like this is the final look of my dress so guys please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up bye